Hello and welcome back. Music Monday with Johnny Tiger and Kitten on uh, December 6th, 2021. Actually, it's mostly Kitten today. I'm just uh, providing the music because we're going to do Christmas songs and Johnny Tiger doesn't usually do Christmas songs. I voted for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> Kitten said no Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> so anyway, um, actually, when I was 17 years old, I put on a concert for single moms, a single mother's club here in Richmond uh, for Christmas. For that concert, I had to spend three months learning Christmas songs. And it was horrible, torturous. Right? I guess because I grew up in a culture uh, without Christmas, uh, without Jesus Christ, without all that stuff. So oh, a lot of these lyrics didn't make sense to me, don't make sense to me. I mean, I was Christian one time, but only for like a couple of years and I quickly grew out of it. Uh, no offense to Christians, Catholics out there. I'm just, you know, uh, I, I think everybody has a, has a right to believe in what they want, who they want, just as much as anyone has the right to not believe or not follow in what they don't want. Um, anyway, uh, my own religious view aside, or non-religious view, because I don't really have a religion, um, Christmas song has always been difficult for me to sing because it's not something that I totally relate to and uh, you know I, I feel a little bit like a charlatan or a faker when I sing Christmas songs uh, and, and, and I sing about Jesus Christ and God and stuff like that but nonetheless Christmas music very beautiful there are a lot of beautiful Christmas songs uh, now, Kitten has a different uh, upbringing, different uh, background. So what do you, what's, what's your connection with Christmas music? I imagine you feel very different about Christmas music. Yes, I, I actually am very fond of Christmas music and it has a lot of memories for me. So when when you were growing up, you uh, like was uh, Christmas was a big thing for for your family at home and stuff like that. Or, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So see, I didn't hear about Chris. Well, I mean, I I knew about Christmas from storybooks, but it was just like told to me in a way that oh you know, like I was four or five years old and and like, what what is Christmas. And my mom and my dad, oh, that's just a white, white people thing. <laughs> so, you know, I didn't actually experience Christmas uh, and learn about it really until uh, I was eight and a half, nine years old when I first came to Canada. Now, most of you know, when I first came to Canada, my uh, experience wasn't very good. I just finished talking about that a little bit yesterday on Soul Search Sunday. Uh, so, you can imagine my my first introduction to Christmas wasn't all joy and fun either. Uh, regardless, uh, I have this strong memory about this one Christmas song. It's the first song I ever had to perform in front of like a thousand people, and I was so scared. Not because of the performance. I, I wasn't scared I was going to make a mistake. I was, I was nine and a half years old. And prior to the performance, uh, I was supposed to perform on stage with my two brothers and my sister. Or half brothers and half sister, in, if we want to be specific. Prior to going on the stage, I was told in no uncertain terms, if you mess up, we are going to beat the heck out of you. So you can imagine how nervous I was for the whole thing. Um, that first song uh, was Silent Night, which 
Kitten will sing for you guys today, and I will provide the background music. I don't need to check the microphone. Uh, you want to check your microphone? Testing. One, two, three. Okay. Silent night. Kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> It would have been better if it was proper piano. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Old, uh, old uh, keyboard made for beginner playing. Um, I can't, I can't in good conscience talk too much crap about this keyboard because it was given to me by my friend Lenny before he passed away. Uh, yeah. Lenny uh, tried to learn how to play the piano when he got older, and uh, he never quite follow through with it and so I ended up with his piano keyboard. Uh, maybe one of these days we'll upgrade to a more professional keyboard when I finally become more professional. Uh, but anyway, now this is what we get. Um, and Kitten definitely sound pretty professional. Thank you. <laughs> and cute. Thank you. And. Uh, yeah, I think uh, next week we'll come back and Kitten will do another uh, Christmas song. Maybe next week we'll, we can do Rudolph the Red of the Reindeer. Maybe. 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 Finally. You <laughs> know what? I like Rudolph. <laughs> Look, really awesome. Like, it, it's a story of being bullied and uh, being able to 
you know, come back and show the other reindeer what's what. That's not like a, a story of my life. And that, I guess, I, you know, the, now that I think of it, that's maybe why I identify with Rudo. Anyway, <laughs> we'll be back again tomorrow for Tactical Tuesday with yeah. Johnny Tiger and Kitten. Kitten, yeah. Happy holiday. Happy holidays. Bye.